January 2018 marked 45 years of the Roe versus Wade decision, a decision that still has remained controversial ever since. I've invited Sherry Neuenschwander of Concepts of Truth International to join us. 45 years, a lot of loss, a lot of healing is needed, and there's still a lot of work to be done. Absolutely, Jennifer, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk about this because a lot of people don't realize as of today, we've had over 60 million babies lost mm -hmm. to abortion. And to give you a visual, that is twice the population of Texas. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a visual. So if all of those people fell off the face of the earth right now, how, you know, how catastrophic that would be. And so that just kind of gives you an over insight of or visual of the impact of abortion and the loss. And so I, I appreciate this. And back in 1998 or 1980, uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, our president, you know, started the Sanctity of Human Life Sunday. And that started a wonderful uh, opportunity for conversation. The Concepts of Truth International um, is here to uh, proclaim a life affirming message and bring hope to those who have experienced reproductive loss. And that includes women and men. Mm -hmm. And so we're hoping that um, as we have an opportunity to continue the conversation about this subject, that more people will become aware. You know, as you think about the number of lives that have been lost, you said double the population of Texas. Yes. That is catastrophic. That is, um, that is, that alone to lose those lives is, is terrible, but those are not the only lives we're talking about that are suffering. So now we have families, we have mothers, we have fathers, we have grandparents who have lost as well, and they live a life of, of that, realizing that that loss exists. That's right. Abortion um, does not just affect women and men, it affects our nation and our world. And so there is a lot of hurting people. And so we have that opportunity to share the message of hope and healing and give women and men the opportunity to work through that grieving process. Because once we have that opportunity to get the proper help, work through that grieving process, then we become a strong voice for life as well. And so if you want to, um, to stop abortion, help those who are hurting. Mm -hmm. Because women and men are hurting, grandparents are hurting. Um, there is such thing as sibling grief, sibling grief as well. So, um, you know, so it's important to just talk about it and have that conversation and Concepts of Truth International through our resources and through our abortion recovery ministry, we are able to offer that um, outlet for women and men to come and process the grief. Tell me what kinds of opportunities are available for individuals who need to process this grief. Um, Concepts of Truth International has um, offers um, abortion recovery weekends. It's a safe confidential setting at a, at, at a place where they can come and work through um, our pragmatic model, Concepts of Recovery the Journey. It's a curriculum model um, and they're able to work through um, the different stages of the healing tasks. So I encourage anyone who might be listening today to call our helpline. We do have a 24 seven confidential helpline. They can call us at 1-866-482-LIFE and they can find out more information about the upcoming weekend. The topic of reproductive loss and the recovery from that is not something we hear as much as we might hear about help for the single pregnant woman. Um, but your, so a lot of people know about organizations like Heartbeat of Lima. Mm -hmm. um, your organization is not in competition with them. You guys work in connection with each other. Absolutely, our heart is to work with pregnancy centers and promote what they do, they can partner with us by uh, coming, becoming a provider on our international helpline. So if they want to go to our website, which is internationalhelpline.org, they can fill, fill out a provider form and then become part of our database. And if they provide abortion recovery, but even if a, a person would call, an individual would call and they're considering abortion, we, um, we would refer them to a local resource to get that life affirming uh, counseling. So absolutely, we kind of work together. We are not in competition. We have a different platform um, a, a little bit perhaps, but we are at the same um, goal is to, is to share the message of, uh, of hope and healing as well as life affirming message. 
And you're not a government-funded organization, so how do you get your funding? Through individuals, organizations, churches. Um, we are a nonprofit organization, so um, we don't get any funding from the government whatsoever. It's all um, donations. Donations, individual donations, church donations, right. Sunday school groups maybe want to take a one-time uh, collection up to give lots of opportunities to be a supporter of yes. this type of thing. Yes, yes. yes. Um, we can't do it alone. We are called to go, and, uh, but we need people who are willing to help send. Concepts of Truth International exists to provide hope and healing for those who have experienced uh, reproductive loss. There is the website. You can get more information. Also, feel free to call the confidential helpline number at any time. Sherry Neuensponder with Concepts of Truth International, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.